Greetings and welcome to another Alpha Magnus experience. Um, today, uh, I've already done a video on this this uh, owl bear a while ago, but um, went through Ollie's and they had another one for ten dollars. So guess what? We gonna open this one up too. Um, not a D and D guy, but I just love the owl bear. I feel like it fits perfectly with. Um, like Avatar The Last Airbender, like a mix of animals, um, which I suppose was probably just taken from that, uh, from Dungeons and Dragons, but whatever. So what's cool is that um, it was only 10 bucks, and this thing was really expensive from what I remember. So I'm kind of glad I, I waited on picking this up through, I thought this was just through Hasbro Pulse, so obviously they didn't even sell enough. Um, Big, big thing about, um, Dungeons and Dragons is, um, they had a movie and a whole bunch of stuff came out and no one bought any of this stuff because I don't think this is appealing to kids as much as they thought it was. And then it was marketed. It's just, it was just marketed wrong. Um, cause I feel like Stranger Things, every time Stranger Things comes out, um, Dungeons and Dragons stuff explodes. So the Dungeons and Dragons doesn't sell Dungeons and Dragons, but Stranger Things does. It's very strange. Um, so in the box, here's the box. We've got a whole bunch of stuff. It comes in pieces. I, of course, will not be saving this box because what the hell do I need this box for? Um, d and is a very strange thing because... Now we've got Super 7 making a giant Tiamat, which if that thing's over 100 bucks, I'm out. It's got to be somewhere around that. Um, I, don't, I just don't need it. I think it's cool that they, they're doing it. But I just spent $10 on a very cool beast that's articulated. And theirs is not. It's, a, it's essentially a, a statue. Uh, we've yet to see how it's articulated, but I think um, I think companies need to not release things until they've released the prices on things, because that leads to speculation. And I'm sure what their thought is is, well, now we'll see what people will pay for it. Uh, no, what it does is it makes people not want to pay for it at all. This owl bear is cool. But it was not very prominent in, in the movie. I think that one was. This one, I don't recall even being in the movie. Uh, this one's like pretty much a... Yeah, this one doesn't say anything about the movie itself. So I'm thinking this one's just a just a movie owl there. Or not a movie owl there, but a, just a regular one. And it is a reuse of that with a different head. So out the box, we've got this guy. See the different heads there. Pretty sure everything else is exactly the same. We do have a back piece here. Front piece there. What do we got here? Probably the extra hands. Um, yeah, so there's our extra hands. So you can make him uh, uh, crawl like a beast but we're just gonna leave these on because these ones are pretty pretty much fine they come off pretty easy from what i remember uh, i do like having the two different owls though um this one actually looks a lot like the owl uh <laughs> from those old 80s pictures i have one of those 80s pictures so let's take this um right here this piece is the back piece i believe yeah and this just kind of clips on there. Let me push that up. And then we pop this right here. Oh. So this is a problem. Right. There we go. Uh, where... Well, maybe that is right now. Because one of the reasons that I like this one is that I, you can flip this stuff around, this piece, and it would make it uh, have a better silhouette. But this looks okay right now. 
but right this is definitely color different so yeah definitely a nifty little uh figure yeah this is where it couldn't look down while well, it was in bear mode so you had to take this and spin it all the way around at the top and that allowed it to go like this but this is a messed up now so that is a little bit of disappointing this one here is not that it just means that i'm gonna probably have this guy always uh, uh there that's a little bit better i should take a look at that while we're while we're looking Anyway, it does have instructions on how to do that stuff, but nothing too difficult. Let's pop this up. And we'll see what we got. So only two extra pieces with the owlbear. Nothing crazy. Same feet, same legs. Everything is pretty much the same when it comes to that. But this is the real determining factor here is that this one you can flip this thing around and get a little bit better of a of a forward stance versus this one which you i guess you could just do this and lean it forward that's it that's all um i love them both i i'm hoping that i could find a smaller one i think i have the the dice lane of the owl bear maybe i'll do that because i kind of want to re redo that uh, old old picture of the that specific thing but there's both owl bears i really like like these in fact i am gonna pop these off So this is if you wanted it to be in uh, beast mode, I guess, like that. So that's the two different looks. Let's pop this down so you can take a look. See so yeah, the, the different profiles, they're there. Um, this this I might have if I have somebody riding this owl man. Maybe I'll use these for, for Mo2 stuff. Because that'd be fun. Uh, unless they're going to have these in Stranger Things, I don't think you're going to see too many people buying them. Um, Aside from just random, random folks that want it. Uh, I love them. Super cool. Um, I actually purchased these to be, um, what do you call them? For a, a battle beast, but never gotten around to it. So they're just going to stay like this for now until I'm done with that. And uh, yeah, there's the... Dungeons and Dragons, um, Owl Bear. Hope you liked this little review. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think of these. If you've seen any around, I'm just glad to have them both. I'm Alpha Magnus. These are toys.